So the last week we started with the CRM. And uh, we did just different exercises. And, um, and different concepts we discussed, we talked about. So let's continue. So we were talking about product master. So we were talking about the product master. We did some exercise in product master also. So we did some exercises on product master. And uh, And in that uh, we discussed and talk about different concepts. We in fact did an exercise related to um, related to <clears throat> exercise uh, related to product master as well. So we did all these different uh, exercises. Uh, we did that as well. Um, so basic features of the product master. We talked about in the last class, different product type. So in SAP, we talk about product master is multi-dimensional. And we talked about that we can have a product master which can have a different uh, category, different types of the product master which is possible, which we can do in SAP space. We talked about all of them. And those are the, some of the exercises which we did. We talk about you can have a product type material, we can have a product type service, we can have a warranty, we can have you know, financing, intellectual properties. We can have all these different uh, product types, which is possible in a standard ICP. We talked about product types are predefined, which basically means uh, different type of products which we have in SAP, they are predefined. You cannot create a new product type. So product type are predefined. You can create different product categories. Now, what is the product type we, which we discussed? So material, service, warranty, financing, intellectual part, property, they are different product types. We also talked about ERP master data can be transferred into CRM. So we can transfer the ERP material master to the CRM. So we can also do that as well. This ST1010 SRB1 underscore 4, VP underscore dash 001, STR underscore 03. These are some of the products. 1, 2, 3, 4. These are some of the products which is there in the standard ICP. So if you go to standard ICP, you will see that those products are there in the system. Okay. Those, those products are defined in the system and uh, those products you can use in the SAP system. Okay. These are SAP provided product masters, which we can use with our day-to-day -day exercises. So HT-1010, this is one of the products. So if you go to SAP, um, and uh, if you go to uh, master, if you go to product, maintain product. So 
in this turn we created our own product also but sap has created and given a different product so if you go to st-1000 so you will find that product so this is uh, st-1000 if you want to know st-1010 so this is st-1010 now if you look at here we have a so these products are defined so let's say srv uh acr underscore 023 acr underscore 023 so acr 0323 this product is there in the standard sap so all these different products are available and these are some of the examples Which are there in the standard ICP. Which is predefined. And we can create our own product also. We did our exercises as well. We talked about there is a relationship concept. This relationship concept is very much unique to CRM. This concept of relationship is not there uh, in uh, ECC. Uh, in CRM, the product master is uh, much more extensive, and we talked about that as well. You can link different product. We did that exercise also. We talked about that uh, we can transfer the data from source system to target system. So, using the middleware, so we did that exercise also. And then we did some exercises related to product master. So what basically we did in the last class in terms of exercise, so we actually created a material product, we created a material product accessory, we linked material product to accessory, we created a service product, we linked material to service product, we also created a custom material for record. So we have created all these different uh, product master as well. So all these different exercises we have done in the standard ICP. Now we are going with some very interesting concept. And that concept is called set type, attribute, category, and hierarchy. So this is a concept of set type, attributes categories and hierarchy so we're going to talk about this concept set type attributes category and hierarchy now this is a very very interesting concept and this is also a very very powerful concept very powerful concept so set type attributes categories and hierarchies now here look at this carefully and uh, let me open a product so let's say I'm opening the product, any of the product which we created or defined in instant XCP does not make a difference. Now this is the product, right? This is the product. We can also create the product which we define. So here, this is the material ST-1010 description categories, hierarchies, product statuses, basic data. And then we can also have so we can define all those different
field. Now, if you see here, there is a general, there is a sales and distribution. We have all these different fields. Right? If I open the material master, which we created in the last exercise, so this is the material we created in the last exercise. If I open that material also, so this is the material we created in the last class, and this is the material master which we created in the last class. And then in this material, just give me one minute guys, somebody call me. So look at the picture here. And I would like you guys to make a note of this bullet and half, this one point, this one and a half line, please make a note of it. Okay, so make a note of this. From the technical point of view, CRM product master is a collection or arrangement of various set type that maintain a specific data. Make a note of that statement. This is a very important statement, set type. Make a note of that statement. From a technical point of view, CRM product master is a collection or arrangement of the various set type that contain specific data. So make a note of that. So set type, set type is like a brick. When you build a house, so we have a brick. When you're building house, we have a brick. And the house is built up of these bricks. Each brick is an individual unit. And we are building the house, then we are building the brick. Okay. Now, if you look at here, this is one set type, this is another set type, this is another set type, this is one set type, this is one set type, this is one set type, and these are brick, one brick, two bricks, each brick, and this whole brick combined together, built a house. If you look at here, This is sales and distribution. So here, this is one set type. This is sales control field. This is another set type. Sales grouping, this is another set type. Product taxes, this is one set type. Sales tax, this is another uh, attribute type. Financing independent uh, attribute is another set type. Similarly, you can have a many, many different set types. If I go basic functions here, product category is one set type. Permitted object category, another set type. PC characteristic, another set type. Product status, another set type. Basic data for material, another set type. And then we have a, this is another set type and description other set types. And just similarly, we have a multiple different set types which are possible in the standard SAP system. So we can have different set types. We can define different set types.
you can create your own site now these are all standard set types what you see here what you see here these are all standard set types so each of these box you see that like this is one box this is another 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 box. so these are different boxes and each box is being placed on the top of it, like a brick you have one brick and then another brick on the top of another brick and on the top of another brick and on the top of another brick so there are different bricks right so this is way you can have different uh you can have a different brick and when each brick is kept on the top of other brick okay and you can have a different brick and one brick kept on the top of every brick so these are the standard uh, uh, set type <coughs> make a note of this this statement which i highlighted type this statement also please <clears throat> okay so set types are delivered with the sap crm system which contain the necessary business information for the business processes set types are delivered with sap crm so all these different uh, fields which you are seeing in sap crm those fields are pre delivered those fields are provided okay. in the sap system now you can provide you can create your own set type also you can have as many as set types as possible you can create your own set type that we going to do now creation of the set type is immensely powerful means you can create your own set type that basically means you can enhance your own crm you can add new fields you cannot do that in sap ecc so from the capability perspective from the functionality perspective it is immensely powerful so using sap crm set type you can create new sets which basically means you can add additional fields to the business part and this is obviously very very powerful functionality customer can define their own set type also and we're going to do that so standard sap set type is there so that is fine we can also create our own set type okay we can define our own set type also so sap erp and sap crm
एस ए पी आर पी एन एस सी पी सी आर आई विल ऑल्सो लाइक यू गाइज टू मेक ए नोट ऑफ समथिंग कॉल बेस हेर आर की I will also like you guys to make a note of this one and half line base hierarchy. Make a note of these two and half line which I highlighted. There is also something called base hierarchy. So make a note of that. So we talked about set type. We discussed something called attribute. And now I want to talk about something called base hierarchy. Okay, so we have something called concept of base hierarchy. The concept of base hierarchy, customizing download base hierarchy. So when so see here ERP and CRM. Now let's understand that. we call it sap erp and crm now let us understand this sap erp and the crm when we download understand this concept when i download sap ecc material master to the crm it create automatically some base hierarchy it create automatically some base hierarchy material type is linked to a product base hierarchy in crm so this is sd this is crm in sd the material type field which we we saw in material master is linked to a base hierarchy that is called r3 prod scip material group field is linked to something called r3 met class product hierarchy is linked to something called r3 product hierarchy is it two completely different generation of the product base hierarchy by customizing download from erp so when i download the material from erp to crm then certain base hierarchy get automatically created in sap crm now look at my screen here look at carefully see that here hierarchy r3 prod st st by p
R3, Prod, SD, YP. And this hierarchy is linked to a category. And this is the base hierarchy. I didn't create this. I did not even enter this field. This field R3, Prod, SD, IP. R3 prod STIP. So that is a set of the product master. Set type. I would like you guys to make a note of this paragraph which I highlighted. Please make a note of the paragraph which I highlighted. So attribute is defined by its attribute type. For example, integer, character, string, data. That will length optional value range. Now, <clears throat> understand this attribute. You can define as many attributes. You can define as many set type as you want. You can define your hierarchy. You can define your own category. Your ability to define your own set type, your own attribute, your own categories, your own hierarchy is immensely powerful. It's immensely powerful. You can make significant changes in the product master. You can make significant changes in the product master. And how can you make a change? And that's very powerful. Your ability to make a change. Your ability to enhance. That's very powerful. And we're going to do that. Now look at this picture. Now let's understand this also. So on the top, See that hierarchy, category, and then we can have attribute set. I have a hierarchy, R3, Port, SAP, high tech. In this hierarchy, we have a three category of product, computer, printer, Monitor. In these three categories, we can have a three different subcategories. Inkjet printer, laser printer, multiple devices. Hierarchy. Categories, subcategories, and see that every category have their own set. Set one, set three, set five, set one, set three, set six, set one, set three, set six. Set is a brick. And within the set, we have attribute. So this is how it is connected. 
So we have an attribute. Or field link to set type set type link to category and category is linked to error. that is a link So the hierarchy attribute attribute link to set type set type link to categories and categories link to hierarchies. This is the structure. You can have many, many attributes. You can have a many, many set type. You can have a set type linked to categories and categories linked to hierarchies. And that is how you can define each one of them. Now see this picture. That is what I would describe in the back. See this picture. So we have a hierarchy. Hierarchy linked to categories. Categories linked to set type. And set type linked to attributes. Categories, hierarchies, categories, set type, and attributes. In the hierarchy, we have a product. Within the product, you have a category, computer, monitor, printers. Then within the computer, you can have a subcategory, laptop, and desktop. Then in the, each of them can have a one or more than one set type. This is the set type monitor characteristic. In this uh, set type called monitor characteristic, you can have these three characters color of the monitor, size of the monitor, model of the monitor. This exercise in which you see in the figure 57, that is what we will be considering. We're going to do this exercise on figure 57. So you have a hierarchy, hierarchy can have a category, category can have a set type, set type can have an attribute, and you can create as many as attributes as you want. Okay. So this is our exercise in which you want to create your attribute set and all that. And what I want to do is what we have in the figure 57. So I want to do an exercise. And that exercise is called, this is actually very powerful. And why this is powerful? Because using this, you can actually enhance the product immensely. You cannot do that in uh, ECC. If you want to do this enhancement in ECC, it's a significant amount of custom programming. So I'm going to create attributes. In the attribute, in the attribute, I'm going to create three kind of attributes: color of monitor, size of monitor, model of monitor. 
size, color, model. Then we're gonna create attribute sets. Then we're gonna create make a note of all these steps. This is our exercise. Then we're gonna create category. Then we're going to create hierarchy. Then we're going to do testing. In the testing, I'm going to assign product category hierarchy. To product master And then verify additional attributes is in product master. So make a note of all these steps. This is product master enhancement in SAP CRM. And see, the thing which I actually, this is a very, very cool feature actually, means this way you can actually enhance SAP Product Master. If you want to do the same thing in SAP ECC, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. You cannot do that in SAP. I, I, you cannot do that in SAP SG side. So it's, from that perspective, it's actually very, very neat and a very, very cool functionality. Make a note of these steps. Now let's go to the system. Let's do these exercises. So in other words, it allows me to customize the attribute the way I want. Yes, you can add an attribute, yes. So this is where we can, uh, if you look at my screen, this is where you can maintain your set type and attribute. This is where you can maintain your category in hierarchy. You can make a note of it. Okay.
so now here i go to maintain set type an attribute i want to create a few attribute the first attribute i want to create a color so i call it z color 12 15 18 color dot monitor color could be black color of monitor white color okay and then now i save it I'm creating one attribute. So I create a attribute. Now I want to create a size of monitor. I want to create another attribute. Attribute create. Create. monitor size so i have a 13 inch monitor i have a 17 inch monitor i have a 19 inch monitor and this is four character and we save it so attribute corrected successfully i make a note of that attribute now i have a model of monitor now the next one is the model of the monitor so i go back and then we define here the model
so in the model we have hp model we have apple model we have a lenovo model so we can define different models so we have created model that is the third attribute So we created a third attribute. Now I want to create attribute set. So we back. Then we go to set type. And then we have a G attribute set. I'm creating attribute now. So this is Z H attribute. So now I hit create button. So I can define uh, monitor attributes set well it is going to use for material product in english here i can assign my attributes so we have defined three attributes. So this is one attribute. So I assign this attribute here. Then this is my second attribute. Then this is my second attribute. And then we have a third attribute. And then we hit print. So we have assigned our three attributes which you have created. And then I want to save it. See the message in the bottom. See the message in the bottom. Generating this table, generating this program, so many data dictionary objects, so many programs, so many views are automatically created in the system so system generate those objects automatically okay see the message in the bottom set type g set 12 15 18 maintain successfully now when i set up this set type behind the scene it updated many programs many data table structures database tables and various other data dictionary objects, various also primary secondary tables, various other dependent and dependent indirect programs. Now, if you have to make all those changes in SD, you have to do a considerable amount of programming that is not needed on SD side, on CRM side, because a lot of those things system does not automatically and that's why it is very powerful okay. then i hit back back then i go to maintain categories and hierarchy so now after setting up the set type and attribute i want to go to maintain categories and hierarchies i open hierarchy I set up in a hierarchy. Mm -hmm. 
כן? So we're creating a hierarchy. Sorry, hierarchy. Now, if you look at my screen, this is my hierarchy. I want to create a new category. So now here we will say G, Moni, So this is my category. This is my set type. Now I want to enter my set type. You can use it for material. And I have, there are so many um, set types. So let's select the one which we created. So the set type which we created is called G A T T set. Okay. So this is the one we created today. So now, this is my set type. This is my category. And this is my hierarchy. So hierarchy. This is the category. This is the set type. And let me save it. And see the message in the bottom. Hierarchy these are 12, 15, 1 being saved. Now I have to test it. So I go back. Back. So I go to maintain product. So I go to materials. So let's say I'm creating a monitor. I'm creating a product monitor. And then I select my, I enter my category, which I created. Hit enter. 
see the message in the bottom making amends to various user interface programs creating objects Now see here in the bottom. Now system has a new set type, which is called monitor underscore set underscore sat twelve fifteen whatever, and that set type has a three attributes: color of the monitor, the color is uh, black, size of the monitor. In the model of the monitor, and then we go to sales and distribution, assign. Select the sales organization, distribution channel, sales unit, item category group, country, We can define, you know, unit of measure. We can define conditions. Setting of the price for monitor. Into my sales organization, distribution channel, this monitor is for eighty dollars. And we save it. So now we have created a product, but the most interesting and important part is we are able to create our own attributes this is very powerful actually you cannot do that in uh, sd it means if you have to do an sd it will take maybe two uh, you know several days programming and here we can do it without any programming so so thank you very much i'm back We did this exercise for product um, announcement. It's a very important exercise, um, and um, it's a very cool. I like it a lot. Um, this is the functionality which we have in SAP CRM, which you can not even do in an SD in such a simple manner. So unit number five, transaction processing. <clears throat> so now in this unit number five, we will talk about transaction type, item category, item category determination. We're going to talk about incompleteness rule. Copy control box. Now, all these different uh, topics which are there in unit five. Whether it's a document type, whether it's item category, whether it's item category determination, whether it's a copy control or text determination, incompletion determination, all these concepts we have done in SD. All of them we have done in SD. So this is a repeat of SD. I will not say 
this is same but these are very similar okay so we're going to talk about all these different concepts these are very similar concept i will not say same but i will say they are similar not the same but similar business transaction sap crm are used to describe business process and transaction this is same this is similar now these are the different transactions so we have lead opportunity quotations contracts orders complaints service contract and service request so lead opportunities quotations contract order complaint service contract and service requests these are various transactions which we can who these are various transactions which are available in sap out of the box now when we talk of the sales document structure it's the same concept we talked about it in sap some differences that's why i'm using the words similar not same okay so we have header data and we have item data the header data and item data header data and that concept of header data and item data is same which we talked in sap sd no difference in the business transaction this is header 
this is line item then in the business transaction you can have a general data here you can define a description identity other things in the line item you can have a material quantity and all that similar what we did many transactions we could do various inquiries quotations standard order rush order cafe we did the same thing same thing here i would like you guys to make a note of 1 2 3 4 5 6 make a note of the six line item which i highlighted please please type those okay <clears throat> business transaction represents a business interaction with the business partner a structure so business transaction represents a business interaction with the business partner so if i'm getting a sales order there is a business transaction and there is a sales interaction with a customer when i'm getting a quotation that is a sales transaction that is a sales interaction with a customer when i'm getting inquiry that is a business transaction and that is a business interaction with a customer so inquiry quotation sales order delivery invoicing rush order cash sale count these are all different business transactions in different sales transactions which takes place with a customer the structure of a business transaction depends the structure is header there is a line item that is the structure in lg there is a header there is a line item there is also a schedule line but here <coughs> we only have a header and the line item ah only have a header ah only have header task only have a header and the lead opportunities opportunity have header and the line item same concept which we talked on both sides okay. same thing now where are the transactions how do we do the transaction and all that we can obviously discuss about it close this master data we go to sales and these are different activities we have a maintain opportunities we have a sales order and we have a contract so we have opportunities sales order and the sales contract okay then we go to sales order and you can have a different uh, transactions different activities in acb crm you can configure your own transaction type
ठीक रहा था वेर इज ट्रांजेक्शन यू कैन क्रिएट योर ओन ट्रांजेक्शन दिस इज अ कोटेशन ट्रांजेक्शन दिस इज हाउ कोटेशन ट्रांजेक्शन लुक लाइक so this is all header data header so this is general header partner product price condition tax document purchase order data status this is all different header data then this is the line item data the header data in the bottom we have a line item data we can have Added data. This is partner, product, price. If you go back here in general, here these are the all different line items. And here you can have a different line items. Item overview, schedule line, and different line items. Okay, so here you can have a different line at data. Okay, which you can have in SAP. Okay, the transaction, the meaning. the purpose definition is same the meaning of transaction is same on both sides the purpose of the transaction is same on both sides what are the purpose we have in sd same we have in nm So that is same constant on both sides. Now we are going to talk about transaction type or document type. We talked about that in SD, same concept. Item category we talked about in SD, same concept. Item category determination we talked about in SD, same concept. So transaction type, item category, and item category determination. These are all same concept on both sides now if you look at here you can define your transaction this is in configuration you can assign your transaction categories you can customize at the header level you can assign your blocking region you can assign your channel for the transaction type So we can define all those different functions in a CBCR. If I go to SPRO reference IMG customer relationship mismanagement. If I go to transactions, if I go to basic settings, and I, here I can go define transaction type. Here I can go define transaction type. If I go to define transaction type, make a note of this menu part. This is the menu part where the different transaction type can be defined. So please make a note of it. <coughs> Make a note of this menu part. This is the menu part for defining, configuring a new transition type in uh, CRM. We're going to go there. We're going to configure it.
Okay. Now, if I come here, we go to define transaction type. Now, these are the different transaction types. 594 lot of them are custom now see here see the definition of the transaction type assignment of the transaction category customizing at the header define blocking region channel see there's one two three four five now that is what you see here define business transaction type assign business transaction category customizing at the header level Define blocking region, allocate channel. Okay. So it's the same configuration. And this also means the same. The purpose is same. And you can define and we're gonna go there I would like you guys to make a note of the one two three four five six seven these seven lines transaction type defines attributes and characteristics of business transactions what kind of transaction it is that is defined by business transactions for example sales order quotation service order delivery billing cash sales they are all specific business transactions now here we also have a concept called business transaction category so every business transaction is also assigned to a business transaction category as well. Is assigned to a business transaction category. Business transaction category tells me what category of this transaction it is. So business transaction type and business transaction category they are two different things. So SRBO is a service order. Lead is a lead transaction. TA is a standard order. These are some of the standard SDP transaction. But within the sales order, you can have different transaction types. So there is a categories like a sales category, like marketing category, like service category like activity category and within every category you can have a different transaction type so if you look at here and uh, you have a different uh, if let us say i choose any of the and here we have a transaction category so this is transaction type and then transaction type is also linked to transaction category in the transaction category we can have a different type of categories like a sales category business activity category complaint category contract category <coughs> so transaction type and we have a transaction category you can block in region blocking region basically means if transaction is not useful <coughs> If transaction is not needed, if transaction is not applicable, then you can block the transaction also. Then we can also have a channel. 
then we can also have a channel channel basically means this transaction is allowed in what channels so in what channels this transaction is allowed you can have a different channels if we go back here we have a channels and these are different channels in sale channel in mobile client and internet sales in what channels this transaction is allowed so we can have these five categories transaction type transaction category blocking a transaction if i don't want it if i want then we can also say this transaction type is allowed in what so transaction type same concept what we talked in sd same configuration or i should use or similar configuration what we did in sd and then we also talked about in sd something called item category and we did configuration for item category also so here we have item category i would like you guys to make a note of these two lines item category so these two lines now what is the purpose of item category what is the meaning of the item category what does item category do that is similar in sd and in crm concept is similar okay. so make a note of these one and half lines make a note of these two one and half lines So item category controls the attributes of the item. Item category controls the attributes of the item in a sales transaction. That is what system does for us. So here we have a business transaction. So it controls attribute of the item in a transaction. These are from the item category. SRVP is an item category. Make a note of it for a service transaction. OPPT is item category for opportunity transaction. Make a note of these two, please. These are the two standard uh, SAP provided item category. SRVP, a service product, OPPT, is item category for opportunities. These are some of the standard SAP provided item categories. Now, look at this picture, uh, figure uh, 63, carefully. This, this figure 63, we discussed in SD also. The logic of determining item category in the sales transaction is same in both SD and CRM.
So we can define item category and how the item category get determined. It is defined on the basis of transaction type, item category group, item category usage, main high level item category. We have the same four parameter in SD, same four parameter in CRS. It's exactly shame to shame. So SD and CRM item category determination is exactly shame to shame. Purpose of item category in both is exactly same. Aha, make a note of this though. This is this is different though. These uh, one and a half line. Please make a note of this. One and a half line. Now this is different though. In some situation, for example, a complaint transaction, item category determination is derived from the action definition. So in SAP CRM, there is something called action. Now action is a capability which is there only in SAP uh, CRM. Action capability does not exist in ECC. So in some cases, we can also de de determine, in some cases, we can also determine actions directly using actions. So using action, we can directly control, we can directly drive So that is the additional feature. This feature does not available. It's not available in SAP SD. This is a TN, make a note of it. TNN, make a note of it. SRB, make a note of it. TN is the extended item category for sales order. TNN is item category for free or charge order. SRBP is item category for service item. Make a note of these item categories, please. These are some of the item categories which is used in SAP CRM. Some of them are the common item categories. Some are different.
Okay, so these are some of the item category. Item category determination is concept. Some other item category, so it's fine. Okay, so I want to do some transit, uh, some exercises. So the first exercise which I want to do. So I want to do some transactions exercises. In transaction exercises, I want to create a transaction type. I want to create a transaction using, or I should create a quotation transaction using a standard quotation doc type AG. Make a note of this, please. Okay, so I go back to SAP. I go to sales, sales order. And from the drop down, I select quotation ERP. This is quotation ERP. I enter my customer, so to party here. So let's say I'm selecting a customer call, mega store. Mega store, there are some of the customer which is provided in the standard recipe, you can use any of them. So I use customer 3000. Three zero 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 four three. I can enter my custom, my enter I can enter my quantity. Hit enter. External reference, enter my date, I go to red mark, enter the sales employee, so system asking to enter sales employee, so if you see here, there's a red color here, this red color tells me that I need to enter on header data, sales employee is a mandatory and because it's not entered, so it's giving me red color. So I go to partners, will drop down, I will sales employee, and I enter sales employee as a Dilip, or any sales employee I can enter. So Dilip is my sales employee. Now once I enter that, the red color goes away, and the then system doesn't have any problem. I save it.
so what we are doing we are creating a transaction for quotation so we are creating a transaction for quotation so i am creating a quotation transaction and this is the quotation transaction created this is the number we created a quotation transaction okay. we created a quotation transaction okay now i want to create a sales order with reference to quotation so i want to create a sales order with reference to quotation I want to create a sales order with reference to quotation. So here, this is my quotation. And here I have a change button. So this is added. And if I go back here, See my cursor, and I want to create a sales order. And if you see here, I can also create a business activity, or I can create a task. So there are three choices: we have business activity, we have a telesales, and we have a task. There are three things. So let's say I want to create a business activity. I want to create an appointment. So I have submitted quotation, and with reference to quotation, I want to create an appointment. So here, appointment with customer. So I want to create an appointment. Location is the customer location. In process region for negotiation goal to get an order place. So meeting customer with reference. to our quotation so we can get order possibly placed now this we cannot do it in sd this appointment these different uh, transactions opportunity transaction those are not possible in sap sd in sap sd there is no appointment there is no task none of these different uh, transaction available these are the additional categories of transactions which we can do it in crm so that is the inherent capability of the crm and then we save it now if i go back and you see here this is document flow in the document flow if i go to detail view and here we can see that there is appointment there is a quotation i can have a different appointment meeting 
because in the real world when you submit in quotation after that you're making the phone calls you're visiting customers you're doing demo many different activities are doing all those different activity which you might be doing after your submission of the quotation you can do it so put a quotation here if you go to quotation and then we can enter this quotation into a telesales i select that there are some copy function okay. enter sales employee Enter the reference. And after that, quotation saved. If I go to Doc and Flow, so what we did, we create a quotation. This is the quotation. With the quotation, we get appointment. After appointment, we got an order. So here, what we did, we created an appointment transaction with reference. To quotation, and then we create a sales order with reference to quotation. Okay, so we want to take a ten minutes break, and we'll talk after ten. So ten minute break now. Okay, so I'm back now. Let us begin. We did some we did some exercises. Now we want to do some more exercise in which we want to create a new transaction type, and we have to perform item category determination for the transaction type. So this is what I want to do. So I want to configure a new. Transaction type, copy of AG, which is quotation. I want to configure a new item category, which is the copy of AGN. I want to configure. item category determination these are the some of the things which i want to do and after that i want to Test new sales doc type and verify. So in order for the configuration, so we have to go to SPRO. So we go to SPRO. I go to SAP Reference IMG. We do customer relationship management. We go to transactions. Define transaction types. Okay. 
and define transaction type. So please make a note of this menu path if you have not already made it. This is the menu path where you can do configuration for a new transaction type. So make a note of it. So this is a different transaction type. I select the item category AG. So AG is the item category. For quotation. I copy this. The first letter should be zero y, and the last letter could be whatever. So let me check because there are so many transactions. So I will get Z012. The first letter should be Z and by the last letter could be whatever. Hit enter. Hit save. Hit enter. And the transaction type Z012 has been created. So we created new transaction type Z012, which is copy of EG. Now I want to verify. I want to verify. Transaction type attributes. So if I go to G012, if I go into the detail. So here, if you look at the transaction type, it controls many parameters. And if you look at in the somewhere here, you will see that so many profiles are associated to a transaction type. Is a text a text determination procedure, partner determination procedure, a status profile, org data profile, partner the function organization, date profile, action profile, and if you scroll down, you will see the number ranges. So all those different parameters are controlled by sales document type okay. 
So these are various attributes, tax procedures, a partner procedure, a status profile, of data profile, partner profile, date profile, action profile, number ranges, internal number range, external number range. All these different attributes are controlled by document type. Now, I want to go to item category. I want to configure a new item category. So I hit back, say yes. Then I go to define item category. So this is the menu path for defining item category. So please make a note of it. If you're not already make a note of it. So this is where item category is defined. So we go to define item category. Okay, so here we have a different item category. AGN is a standard item category. And then I copy. The first letter should be Z or Y. The last letter could be whatever. Let me check. Uh, so many already defined. So I put first letter as Z. 12. Hit enter. Say yes. And then we say cycled so and I this is my quotation. I said. Yes. So I create a new item category, which is Z012. So what we have done is we have created a new document type, which is a copy of AG. We define we tested the attributes and then we also wanted to test and verify various item categories as well. So now we created a new item category, AGN, uh, Z012. And this item category Z012 is a copy of AGN. Is a copy of AGN. <laughs> so these are the
okay so now i want to do another thing i want to verify item category attribute now i want to verify the attribute of item category i select that i go into the detail now here i have a different profiles here i have a text profile partner details profile a status profile atp profile org data profile date profile action profile all those different profiles are associated to an item category label as well so that is why item category controls various functions and features then i want to configure the item category now where is item category configuration or item category determination so look at my screen now here we have a define item category determination we can order this menu part so this is the menu part for uh, defining the item category determination please make a note of it okay so item category determination now here we have i go to new entry in the new entry i put z012 if this is my transaction type if item category group is normal norm standard item then my item category should be z012 so now what i'm saying is that if my transaction type is z012 if my item category group is standard then my item category should be dot and this is it and then this is it now i want to test it and now i want to test it i go to maintain transaction i select that maintain transaction i go to the drop down and here in the drop down i go to sales and these are all different transactions and we have to see where our transaction is which we created today because there are so many of them here I have to delete some of them there are so many now yeah this one 12 15 18 that's why i put a date so i can recognize and then i put my customer here reference 
for the date, for the product, for the quantity. I go to partner. the size of employee. Okay, so now my transition type Z012 came here. And my item category Z012 came here. There is no error. And I can save it. It basically means everything which we configured worked fine. So our configuration work. So I think it's a good breaking point. So I will take, uh, I stopping the class now and uh, talk to you tomorrow. So thank you. Thanks all. Thank you all. Talk to you tomorrow, guys. Thank you.